Of the beautiful morning in London, Ontario here. So Stephen Keegan, former goalie coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, been skating with him for about the last week. Puck counting was a big focus the last couple days. We spent a lot of time actually last night talking about Mike Smith. I'm going to show you the highlights from last night. He gave up two goals against the Oilers that were very, very, very suspect. Nurse in a race and look at Smith come out to play it. Kopitar trying to make him pay right out in front. Sharp angle shot. Brown puts it home. Smith out to play it behind the net. Chopped at. Out in front, another chance, another goal! God helps them who help themselves. I'm a firm believer in that theory. And improving on the puck handling in a non-selfish way, I think, is a way that's going to do that. Now, Q&A questions were awesome. There will not be a Q&A. Maybe there will be. I haven't decided yet. But a lot of great Q&A questions from Steve about the Leafs, Leafs prospects, goalie coaching. Coach McKeegan, what's the uh, plan for today's ice time? We're going to work on receiving slashes, uh, understanding the importance of a good check from behind, and uh, how to have a plan after you get punched in the nose. Are you serious? Sure. Okay. Hey, Coach McKeegan, so what's the plan for today's ice time? We're going to alert, work on all control elements, rebound control, positional control, puck handling control, and get you feeling great about yourself so you go into your first uh, real pro camp on a high note. All right, so today is going to be the fourth and second last day that I'm going to be skating with Steve. I really enjoyed my time skating with Steve so far. Obviously being the former goalie coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, he's a lot of insight, both at the pro game, the pro level, and some of the things that we've been working on all week. And if you haven't seen the videos, you can go check them out or you'll see today's or tomorrow's, is that things such as puck handling. Puck handling, keeping the puck in possession of our team. If the other team doesn't have the puck, they just can't score. It's as simple as that. Getting to the higher levels, you have to be able to move in a confined space with smaller movements to be effective. And according to Steve, this is one of the number one reasons why Justin Pogge went from top NHL prospect goaltender probably future goaltender of the Toronto Maple Leafs organization to somebody who just didn't pan out. So a bench minor on the Penguins, and now Pogi comes up on board too, so we're going to have a brawl. Wow, Pogi is really laying into Tim Wallace right now. This is my Vapor 2X stick. This is going to be the last day that I have, sorry, second last day, where it's under warranty. If you've got the warranty, might as well use it. Bauer's not going to like it, but when you're paying 350 bucks for a stick, you take all the free ones you can get. I'm going to use up the warranty. If it doesn't break today, I will break it on purpose tomorrow which will be a video in two days. It's enough math. Do the ice time. I want you to go in your stance, accept the puck in your stance, and then step up shooting position, pass it right back to me. Pull it back behind that glove and off the glass and out, yeah? And then kill it. Pull back, kill it. That's it, nice. That's the one I like. Try to get it closer to the blue line, because that's going to be one I'd be able to keep in. So if there's a pattern that's developing, there's a lot of stuff in through here. And the problem with that is, when it hits this far in, it's going to come out near where he wants it. When it gets closer to where the guy is near the board, it's way harder for them to keep it in. And if it's up in the glass, you're going to have to take it off their face. Let's switch sides. Try to do it using your backhand. And that's that's the next stage of the drills. You want to create a half board battle with that puck if you're doing a backhand chip. So if the guy's coming in and you suck him in and he's in close, you sell the forehand and then just a little one like that. And that lets you get back to your net. Go! go. A little busy, a little busy. That one might end up in your net. It's amazing what a hint of pressure does. If it's soft enough, anytime you can swing around and catch it on your forehand is going to be better. That brings up a good point. You're playing in some arenas you've never been in, and do test dumps in the warm up, like three or four good rim dumps, to make sure you know if there's any issues with the end boards with little chinks that you're back there trying to stop it. It kicks out in front. So test dumps every warm up to make sure you know your boards both rims and side net dumps, so you can see how quickly they bounce off when they miss the net on short side, especially when they're stanchions. Don't go back and try to stop it. Let it be. Let it be. The risk to reward isn't in your favor. And normally that one's that's gonna hit the thing and come out in front in a 3-3 hockey game. If it's up on the glass from out there, just let it go. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's it. 
Two more. Use your lower body, even though you're reaching with your glove. Move it over a little bit. You try to make the save there. Try to make the save there. The big difference between this one and this one back here, that's about another square footage of cover, or another square foot of coverage, sorry. That little difference is the one that just sort of ticks off your blocker and misses the net, and the one that just ticks your blocker and goes in. What, here's where I need you to see commitment in battle, even when you're tired and pooped right now. I want to see how you perform when you're not peak condition, or not peak, I mean peak energy level. Save it. Hang on, hang on. Don't, don't swing the stick yet. We got one more drill. You're going to present your glove side or your, this side pad perfectly squared up along this line here. So, oh, there it is. Go. That's it. Oh, and then a kick save and a beauty at the end. Cannot do that again if you tried. I don't think he's got that much time. Oh. We're going to finish strong here, Trav. Stay with me. Stay with me. You're basically leaving from the waist down, just planted and cemented in thing. What I want you to try to do, as hard as it is, as soon as it bounces off there, pivot and plant that foot so you can try to get a little bit of a body over there. That's, that's the one right there. Jonathan Ahu, what do you look for in goalies for the Leafs? I look for guys that have good grammar, punctuation, and spelling. Bryce Jim, how does it feel to be an NHL goalie coach, or at least a former NHL goalie coach? I think having played in the NHL and then becoming an NHL goalie coach, it's not that big of a deal because when you're in that environment, it's it's not a big deal. It becomes the normal? It, pardon? It becomes the normal. It's normal. Like it, There's nothing. The NHL people are just the same as normal people, so it would be just like going to a normal job. C Walker 31 how is it working with guys you know may not be with the team and with you next year? You treat people like human beings, so whether they're an NHL all-star, they're on the plans, they're not on the plans, you treat everybody like human being, like you'd want to be treated if the roles were reversed, so that doesn't change any of those circumstances. Do you poop while standing? At times I have, but recently I've been doing it a lot in the car by accident. How do I stay and get dialed into a game? I think a lot of times your focus, every athlete goes all over the place, but you have to have some type of a slogan or a trick you use, whether it's like the Carter Hart people that look at water droplets during stoppages of play, or there's something on your glove where you read a little message to yourself that triggers and brings everything back to the moment. Those would be things I would do. And that concludes our Q&A. That's every question. Got her. Well done. Is there any ones that are gonna work? I think they're all gonna work. <laughs> the, the, the shitting myself in the car. season right around the corner there is no place you're going to want to get hockey equipment from pro return new you sideline swap is the place to get a gear for this holiday season i recommend you go there and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching